Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power 31 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. You can see we have a long uniform charge thread. It is located at x directions, at x axis, right? And the charge density is given lambda. And also we have a small particle. It carries negative charge, negative 2 coulombs. And it located at the y direct, y axis. The location is there. Now we need to find the electric field at this location, this position. This position x equal to seven centimeter, y equal to seven centimeters. And also this picture gives you as a hint, right? It tells you the electric field come from the thread just upward. And then, as we learned in test book. The electric field uh, for this uh, particle charge, this uh, sphere, is uh, radically inward. So it is just uh, pointing to this uh, particle charge, right, in this way. And this angle, we can call it angle theta. Now you can see, uh, we need to find the electric field at this position. It looks like we need to find the addition for these two electric fields. Electric field is a vector, right? So it looks like we need to find the addition for two vectors. So we can write down the first electric field for thread. You can see this part we learned in our textbook. How about the electric field on the un non uniform charged thread? This one is given at zero. You can double check with your textbook. You can get the answer there. This is lambda, and this is the direction with the y direction, right? The 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 distance for y for this position with the x axis. So this is we call it y, right? And the direction is upward, so it's j. So x j j. Uh, unit vector there. The next one we look at is the eq. Electric field for this particle charge Q. As we learned, this is just radically inward to this Q. So there, the direction is R uni, un, unit vector R, right? And the, this is the easy. This is the 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. This is the constant. And the absolute value of the charge Q. And then D squared. D is the distance for this particle charge with the location. And then we can say we can look at this unit vector R. It is pointing to the particle charge Q and we can project it in x direction, in y direction, right? So we can consider if the length for this one is R, for this vector is R, we project it in the x direction, it becomes a negative R cosine theta, right? Pointing to the x direction, negative r cosine theta. If we project it in y direction, it becomes negative r sine theta. So we can write it in this way: negative r cosine theta i. This is x direction. Negative r sine theta j. This is y direction. And also we need to divide the unit, the, this vector's magnitude r. Therefore, it looks like this way. So in this way, we can convert the unit vector r to i component to j component. Right now, it looks like we need to add these two vectors together to find the electric field at this location. So so easy, right? You just add x component with x component, y component with y component. You get answer there. Now you can see in these functions, the q is given. Four pi is not is a constant. D d is the distance for the particle charge with the location. So you can see this is a triangle. Agree? This is a triangle. One side is a seven centimeter. Another side is a seven centimeter plus five centimeters. It becomes the twelve centimeter, right? So in this way, we can get this side squared, and this side squared. This one we get is a d squared. Agree? The answer is there. And also we see this is a tangent theta. This is the angle theta. So the tangent theta becomes uses the side length this one over side length this one. And then we can input the known quantity inside 
Now we can input the known quantity D, theta, and the Y inside. We get the answer look like this one. In this way, we get the electric field and this position in this unit vector format X component and Y component. And it asks us to find the what to find the magnitude and the direction, right? So this one we just use e x square plus e y square squared. We get magnitude for this electric field and angle theta for this electric field is is use arctangent e y over e x. Answer is there. Thank you.